Hi, my name is Dex from my consult and as we get closer to the implementation of e-invoice on phase 3 level, what happens is a lot of clients have been coming to us and ask us a lot of questions. So one of the questions our client recently has asked us is about what happens if I am a service-based industry, I actually am using the customer invoice in SQL accounting, how can I generate the e-invoice through the system? So the quick question that they have asked us is now currently they are using customer invoice, they want to generate and validate it to become e-invoice. However, SQL accounting, you will need to create the invoices in the sales invoice to generate it. Alright, so in today's video, we're actually going to be looking into how we can actually generate the invoices through the sales module, even though you are a service industry. Alright, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's look at our client's question that we mentioned. So currently, they're actually using customer invoice and then they create their invoice. So what you realize is there's actually no function of selecting your e-invoice function. So let's say example, if I come to my sales, I come to my invoice, I have this my invoice which I can use to validate. All right. So the main reason why we cannot do it in customer invoice is because of the necessary fields that we require to send to LGN to get it validated. All right. So there are actually a few ways of going about it. So option number one is actually you create a stock item, say maintain stock item here, and we press new. So we will create example. This is called uh, services. Okay, services, and what you do right is actually you untick this one called stock control so once we untick this right then that means this item has no stock control at all and then you can treat it as a service based item all right so then we can press save here and then what happens is we just come to sales we come to invoicing we select our customer new and select customer say example mm, Say example, let's take one. Say example, Sunline Technical Services. We press plus, we select the item code services. Okay, and then here, what we do is we just select our quantity and we can put our unit price 1000 and then we can press save and we can actually submit to LHDIE invoice. Okay, so now you can see this is validated by LHDN, no problem. Okay, a second option is we can do the same thing. We just press new, we type here. So again, again, Sunline Technical. Instead of selecting an item code, now we actually have this column or this field called account code. So here we can just select here, say example, this is hitting your sales account, say sales others, and then we can say, okay, this is servicing of cars, okay? We can put back here the code, quantity one, and you can put here, Unit price of 1000 okay so we press save we press my invoice we can submit again no problem all right so this is actually how we can actually uh, validate your e-invoice if you are running a service-based industry inside sql accounting in the sales invoice module so option number one is create item but remove the inventory or stock control option number two is you come to your invoice screen instead of using item code you use account code all right so that's all for today. If you have any other questions or any other guides you would like us to create, uh, leave in the comment below. Alright, thank you.